Hey guys! We're here today to check out a Patreon request from this Patrono right here as I check out some Anthrax with Blood Eagle wings. I must admit, I'm a huge fan of Anthrax but more before the sound of white noise. Everything that came after that, I enjoy it but, you know... like I like the Old Testament. Yeah, 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 more than the new one. I don't know, I just like the old shit, you know what I mean? But by the way, do you know what a Blood Eagle is? Yeah. Alright, so now can we imagine that with wings? Just like a pad? Equally bloody. Equally bloody. Let me just put that out there. I mean, a blood eagle, the 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 lungs placed on your shoulders or whatever the heck it technically, is. Technically, that is the wings. That's so. supposed to be the wings. Yeah, that's yeah. technically supposed to be the wings. I agree with you. Yeah. All right. Uh, are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Let's check it out.
What a horrible way to die. Ugh. I thought they were gonna impale him with that thing. They're all admiring their work. That was brutal. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that dude is in this. Ah, uh, uh, fuck. Was it last year or two years ago he released his own metal record? Oh, it was it was fucking amazing. He had a song like with uh, with Johan Hegg from Amon Amarth. It was all about being a Viking. I think I played that to you. I think you did. Yeah, and there was uh, there was. Uh, other shit there. I think it was Grandpa Metal was the name of the record. Oh, fuck. It was hilarious. That album is amazing. It has a bunch of different bands featured on it. It's fucking amazing. But the, the Amon Marth one is amazing. It was about him being a Viking and all the things that you do uh, if you're a Viking and whatever. It was fucking hilarious. I can't believe the dude is in this video. Uh, Brian uh, Posehn is his... That's his name. Wow. Everything came to me. Anyways, Grandpa Metal. That's the name of the record. It's either a year ago or two years ago. If you guys haven't checked out his album, go check it out. Great cameos from other bands, like doing like guest appearances on the record. Yeah. But the Amon Amarth song with Johan Haig is fucking lols. It's just fucking lols. It's unbelievable. It's kind of like playing on all the Viking stereotypes, but then you have Johan Haig singing in it, which makes it even better. It just makes it even better. Go check out his record. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, anyways, what did you think of the song in the video? I feel like at the end of the video, I feel like the whole... It brought song, some lols at the end there. It brought some lols at the end because uh, the whole video was very... Um... Very not lolzy. Not lolzy. Very serious. Yeah. Uh, they had to do a Blood Eagle. It's called Blood Eagle Wings. They kind of have to... I know, but I wasn't expecting them to do it to Joe DeMaio of Manowar. I mean, but if you're going to do it to somebody, might as well do it to him. Or anybody in Manowar for that matter. Exactly. Just fucking Blood Eagle all of them, as far as I'm concerned. I can't believe I went from being a huge fan of Manowar to just not really giving two shits about Manowar. In the span of, of what... 30 years that I've been listening to metal, in the span of 30 years that I've been listening to metal, I went from being fan number one of Manowar to just like, I don't give two shits about Manowar, let's blood eagle all of them. That's 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 the span of the, that has happened in the in the in in these 30 years. But anyways, go ahead. Uh, yeah, the, the video, you kind of knew it had to happen. And I yeah. was right, the lungs are on the show, on your shoulders. I didn't know that. I knew you, you open up the ribs and you bring the ribs out, right? Because that makes... You crack the, the ribs. You crack the ribs and you bring them out. I knew that, but I didn't know you pull the lungs and you stick them on the ribs in order to, to make it... Well, that's what, that's, what, uh, that's what I heard from when uh, Ragnar's explaining it to Yalborg. He's like, this is what we're going to do to you. And all that stuff. Oh, he went into detail. Well, not to y'all, but he had to say it to Bjorn. Yeah, Bjorn yeah. asked him what a blood eagle was. Oh, okay, okay. And then he told Bjorn and, what a blood and eagle And the, the, the kind of father that he is, he's trying to introduce him to the fine arts. Well, then he showed him later that episode, because oh. then y'all bore a blood eagle. All right, perfect, perfect. Everything goes full circle. If I had a kid now, I would definitely name him Ragnar. Definitely. Oh, fucking bad. Well, when you have one, think about it. Middle name? Or Bjorn. Joey Ragnar? Chuck with Joey Ragnar. Joey Ragnar. Oh, God. Almeida. <laughs> wow, what a name. What a name. I mean, technically, I am 2% Norwegian, so there is a little bit of Viking in me. <laughs> not that right Norwegian. Oh, no, he, they were Norwegian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're from that part. I mean, they were not Danes. The Danes is the other guys that then later come the fine hair. The dude, it's later on, later on. Like the last couple of seasons, he shows up. He kills his own brother. But anyways, we're getting sidetracked here. 
Um, not even there yet, but okay. Okay, we don't know who I'm talking about, so it's not like I ruin anything yeah, anyway. When I so. see him, I want to be like, oh, well. Oh, fuck. yeah, this guy and his brother, so he kills his brother. But exactly. You know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. But, uh, uh, yeah, fuck. What, what a great show that is. So, anyways, uh, outside of the video, you know, with the laws at the end, the eagle, we kind of knew that was happening. Do you take anything else from it? Him destroying... By the way, when, when the wings came out, I was like, holy shit, this is a little bit of... You know, Avenge Sevenfold or Overkill, you know, the skeleton with the with wings. The wings. Yeah, I was like, yeah. What the hell? Like, you get some Avenge Sevenfold. Because they're overkill. also, like, not even. They weren't, like, bat wings. No, but. They, well, they kind of look like regular wings. They were just black and they yeah. were. They looked black, like, to a, a bat type wing. Yeah, so it could so be. So it was also very much Avenge Sevenfold. Yeah, he went from Megadeth to, like, Avenge Sevenfold uh, or Slash Overkill. I never understood why Avenge Sevenfold took. A very similar approach, as far as the logo is concerned, to what Overkill already had. I mean, like, really? Like, you didn't have any better ideas to go with something else? Uh, anyways, uh, I digress. So, anything else you want to say about the video before we talk about the song? Uh, no, the video, I, I feel like... I think it's going to get age-restricted, by the way. Definitely. Uh, but I feel like the video, him destroying the, him destroying the land... And then it being rebuilt. Not the land, but the old civilization. Yeah, yeah, him destroying the old civilization for a new one to be built. And the, the new one being built more... Uh, modern? Modern looking. But... And also looking more... more um, evil? Not evil. I wouldn't say evil. I'd, yeah, kind of evil, but also more uh, stable. I, I saw that differently. You know how I saw? I saw him destroying the old world and the sins that existed with that old world. And on the ashes of that old world with those old sins, a new civilization, a new world is born, much more advanced, but with that comes also a lot more sins, more sinful. A more sinful world being born of a world of sin, if that makes sense. Because like I felt like he destroyed one that because the people were were you know being murdered and killed and whatever. So it's you're destroying a world of sin, but on the ashes of that world of sin, only more sin can be born. You cannot get anything good from bad, right? So you just get worse. So I kind of felt that way because the menacing of the new buildings and then when he comes out and he looks out, out there also the at the world. Also the blood on them. Yeah, so it just feels like there's more more evil and more sin. So you destroy one world and you build on the ashes of that something even more grotesque. More modern, but more grotesque. You know what I mean? That's kind of the the, the take that I, that I have from that part of the video. Now, the song. What do you think about the track? I actually really like the song. I really, really like the song. Uh, the chorus being repeated multiple times helps. But it's fucking catchy as hell. Oh, not only that is it catchy, but it has a good groove, a groove to groove. it. And the vocals are, are phenomenal. Yeah, on that yeah, throughout the whole song, the vocals are really good. The whole song itself is, is really, really good. I really enjoyed the song. Uh, you know, catchy. I had a menacing vibe to it, especially because of the video. Mm -hmm. uh, it, yeah, it's it's it's... It, I know you're not a huge the... you're not a huge thrash fan, and I know you're not a huge Anthrax fan. No, no, no. It's it's more of it's more. So of... where does this song rank for you? Like you know, when you think of songs like Medusa hold and all on, of that. Hold on, hold on. It's not that I'm not a huge fan. It's just that it's not. I don't go out of my way to listen to to older thrash bands. I don't really go out of my way to listen to them. I'm more of I'm a new kid, part of the new generation. He's a core you know? kid. I'm a core. <laughs> Kinda. Not, yeah, not fully. Not fully. Not fully a core kid. I, He's I, rotten to the core. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I don't. I, I don't obviously go out of my way to listen to it. But if it's on, I'll listen to it and I enjoy it. It's just not something I go out of my way. Now this song, though, most likely I'll go out of my way to listen to this song because the song is fucking good. It is good, uh, it, it it is and good. it breaches that that um, that feeling that I I had um, for a while. It was like, oh, when it comes to old thrash metal, it's not much of my. It's not like. But this song is more modern, though. This song is more modern, and that's why I like it more, though. Because I feel like even the older thrash metal, even bands that have an older thrash sound to them, I can enjoy them a lot more. But older thrash in general, I feel like you're the one who enjoys it a lot more than me. I'm just here for the ride, and I'm here to enjoy it sitting down There's and watching it. There's a more modern it. sound to this song. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like, in general, it's like, I'm here to... I enjoy it when we're listening, but you'll go off and listen to it uh, afterwards... I'll go and do my own thing. Just to finish off, you listen to Medusa, and that's like really old school thrash. You listen but, to this one, this one has more of a melodic see, modern touch to it. And, and Medusa was different though, because Medusa, I actually really enjoyed that song. It's tons of energy. It's tons of energy, and I, and I that one was part of the playlist, but I think I'm going to have to substitute that one out for this Just one. Just add this one. Why do you have to substitute? I don't know. 
Why, what... there's, no, there's enough room in your playlist for two Anthrax songs. No, no, no. Wow. No, no, no. Dude, dude. Wow, there's not enough room for two Anthrax songs, really. Uh, you know, this town is only big enough for one of us. So you don't have Indians on your on your playlist? No, I have it on oh, my phone. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and if I press so shuffle on <laughs> the thousands of songs on my phone, it's bound to be hit. Black and I random. won't turn it off. I'll just listen to it. But it's not like I'll go out of my way. Oh, you know what I feel like today? Some I I feel like I need to cry for the Indians and then I click on. Okay, it. okay, fair enough. All right, I I I I love this song. I mean, I think the chorus is phenomenal, super melodic track. There's still some chunkiness. There's still some heaviness in terms of those guitar riffs that I really like. That 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 volume, that that thick volume that those guitar riffs have. It, I, the song is just phenomenal. You wanted to know a lot about me, but I wanted to know. Like you said, you were no, more, I, I like you were more for the old test, old te te uh, It's weird to say Old Testament, but uh, yeah, the Old Testament of Anthrax. Not the newer testament. This is newer testament. See, for me, it's like this: everything up to persistence of time, really had lasted, the time. Like it, it, the, the time has been kind to everything up to that point. Everything after that is not that I don't like it. It's just that for me, it doesn't have the same appeal. It doesn't have the same place in my heart as everything up to that point. And which is really interesting is that one of my most disappointing albums from Anthrax ever was The Sound of the White Noise. And when it first came out, I absolutely hated it. I regret spending the $20 or whatever it was that I paid for the fucking CD when the album came out. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Now, it's I'm not going to say it's one of my favorites, but I actually really enjoy that album. I've grown to appreciate it. it, which just goes to show you that sometimes when you go into an album or you, when you have a preconceived idea or, or a band has a certain style and a certain sound and then suddenly with a record, because that record is where they change lead singers. So with that record, when they changed that, I was like, ah, I don't think I'm in for this ride. You know what I mean? But now with the time has passed and you were able to like forget about it and you just listen and you actually appreciate the music for what it is, not for what you wanted it to be. I'm like, fuck, I actually really enjoyed it. I still feel more connected to the earlier stuff, but that's just because that's what I grew up listening to. That's all. So I'm actually, that's this is one of the reasons why I always say don't judge a book by its cover. Don't listen to just one song and assume you know everything about the band or even about an album. Let things breathe. Let things grow a little bit and see where it goes. Yeah. You know, that's all. That's all. So I, I like this track. But if you ask me, do you want to listen to this or listen to Medusa or Spreading the Disease or uh, Among the Living or Indians or, you know, uh, whatever. Pick any song from those albums. Got to Time, whatever. Belly of the Beast. I'll, I'll take any of those. Because Over this? That, yeah, because that's what I grew up listening to. That's how, yeah. I just feel more connected. There's you know, a it sentimental takes... value to exactly. you. Exactly. Exactly. But and to you can... me, I'd rather listen to this because the song... Okay. You know, that's yeah. fine. It's just for me, that sentimental value, there's no actual value that you can put to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it's just, it has a special place. That's all there is to it. It's not like it's better or worse. It just means more to me. That's, that's because all I'm it saying. Reminds me, it reminds you of your It takes youth. me to a specific time. Yeah. That's all. All right. On that note, guys, let us know your thoughts on Anthrax, Old Testament, New Testament, both Testaments. What the fuck do you like from Anthrax? How you feel about this song? How you feel about this video? What is your take on the destruction of the town? the village, the city, and then the new rebirth. Like, I want to hear your thoughts on that. Hit us up in the comment section. We'll see you guys at the next video. Take care. See ya.